Hey guys, what's up? Retro Mikey 78 here, and today I wanted to go over something that um, I came across. Um, Pat on um, Game On had told me about this. This is the get in focus here. This is the Game Box. It's a 128 gig um, cheat device for the PlayStation One Classic. Here's my classic, and I'd actually never even opened my classic until I received this device. But it's pretty fairly simple to use. You insert it into the USB drive. If you feel like playing two player, you need more. It does come with one of these, a split, a three way splitter. Um, you put this in that with the there, and you can also play two player. So that's a bonus there. But let's turn this on and see what we get now it is important to notice that you do not plug this in or anything unless you your system is not powered on at all so that means disconnect the power cord before you plug it in now i've got the sound off on the tv because when it comes up it comes up with a song and I'm not trying to get flagged or nothing because it's a pretty popular song but I'll turn the sound on when I go out into the games. But it boots up just like the PlayStation Classic normally would. Alright, at this point you have a couple options. Um, the first thing you have to do when you first do this thing is called the rescan. You would hit the X button. And it will sort and scan the entire stick for everything that's on it. So I just want to show you guys that. And this process does take a minute. So I will skip ahead to the next part. Alright. Now that we're done with that. I'm going to open this up one of the two ways. The first one is auto beam. Where you hit the start button. And as you guys see immediately. There's new games added. 007 Racing, World is Not Enough, um, 70s Robot Anime, never heard of that one, Activision Classic Games, Air Race, Alien Trilogy, I'm not going to name them all off, but I mean, there, there's a great deal of games been added to this, and I know you guys are going to be like, well, I've I seen the um, True Blue out there do more. In PlayStation 1 Rise, yes, I'm still going to get the True Blue here real soon and probably do that. But this here was a good start. This was only a $20 stick, so that's one thing. You know, I got Contra Adventure. I don't have that one in my collection. Capcom vs. SNK. Chocobo Racing. I remember having that one as a kid. Contra Legacy of War. Even though it's not good, I, I have played it. There's only the first Crash Bandicoot, then Bash, then CTR. CTR is a great game. Destruction Derby is already on there. But you get Dino Crisis 1 and 2. Two games I did not have been looking for. I might just play them off this. Final Fantasy 7. But you can see the variety of games. GT 1 and 2 are both on here. But, um, Marvel Super Heroes, Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighter, Marvel vs. Capcom, Mega Man 8, X4, X5, and X6, Metal Gear Trilogy, so you get all the first Metal Gear. This I thought was neat, all the Namcos, 1 through 5, Parasite Eve 1 and 2. And I did not have two in my collection, so that's a bonus to me. Rampage Through Time. My wife was already enjoying playing that. Resident Evil 2, 3, Survivor, and Director's Cut. Roll Cage 1 and 2. Those games are actually kind of fun. Lots of Street Fighters, Street Fighter Alpha 2, Alpha 3, The Collection, uh, Street Fighter Collection 2. I said, there's all kinds of stuff on this thing. 
Even if you want to play it and you know as bad as it is, there's a Simpsons Wrestling. My wife had to check it out. The Raiden Project. I'm not going to spend too much time on this because you guys could... It's a $20 thing. You guys can check it out. But let's go back. Let's... Let's do something we know is not on the original. Let's go to Dino Crisis 1. Now I'm just going to open it up, let you guys see that yes, it does work. And there's hardly any lag. I was really surprised. But that's not the gist of it. There is a ton more on this thing. There's another whole category with all types of games in it. Uh, I'm not going to play it anyways. Oh, almost forgot. Got to turn the... As you guys see, it's it's Dino Crisis. It boots right up. So, it's a big bo bonus. I I did not have Dino Crisis before, so I'm excited about this. Okay. And yeah, you guys see me in the reflection. I know it's a bright room that I got. Come on, get past the storyline. I just want to show some gameplay. Alright, so you guys see Dino Crisis, the controls seem to be working fine. It's a great game. Right, you saw it played fine. You still have to use the reset button to back out. Now, at this point, at this point I'm back out um, to what they call the retro arch. You hit the square button, what it says in the menu. It's loading up the retro arch. This here is the main thing that I enjoyed about this. You have 2,600 games. There's all tons of games here. Asteroids. Um, games I never even heard of before. Basketball, Battlezone. Beat them up. E beat them and eat them. Um, they... All the classes are here. Bump and Jump. A Cabbage Patch Kids game. Never heard of Didn't even know there was one. California Games. Centipede. Chopper Command. Chuck Norris Super Kicks. I mean, all, basically a huge portion of the library. Frogger 1 and 2. G.I. Joe. Galaxican. Galaga's in the 7800s. Gauntlet, Ghostbusters 1 and 2, a Haunted House, Kaboom, one of my favorite games. I don't know how you'd play it with this controller. Did not know there was a crawl game. Loved Maze Craze when I was a kid. 
missile command. Who who doesn't like the old school missile command back in the day? Mouse trap. Miss Pac Man's on here. Pac Man's probably on here. There's Pac Man. Looking for Pitfall 2's on here, and there's Pitfall. Popeye, Porky's. Porky's isn't that fun, though. Rampage. And what I've clicked on these, here's my favorite. I love playing River Raid, River Raid 2 when I was a kid. All these worked when I saw when I looked checked when I checked out. Um, Choplifter, Donkey Kong, Dig Dug, Double Dragon, Food Fight, one of my all-time favorites on the 7800. Joust, Mario Brothers, Ninja Golf, I mean, Rampage, there's all kinds of games on here. It's got a bunch of Lynx games, and I've actually never played any Lynx before, so I can dabble into these. I'm going to enjoy that. Arcade games, um, I haven't clicked on any of these yet to try them. The, as you see, it's got a huge variety and Fatal Fury 2, 1, 2, and 3. Name games. Uh, I'm still not sure what this is unless it's just a list of them by name. Somebody knows what name was. Give me a hint in the comments because I didn't know what. I still don't know what the, that ad is. TurboGrafx 16. There's all the all these all these games, and they I've clicked on a bunch of them. They do work. PC Engine, PC Engine Super Graphics, Game Boy Advance. Uh, there is so many games here. I mean, Castlevania Area of Sorrow, Circle of Moon, Hormia Distance. I know these are expensive games. I've just sold my copies that I got real cheap not too long ago. And I'll click on one. You guys can see that it plays just fine. It plays and they make it look like it's on a Game Boy. It's a cute little wallpaper to have with it. But as you see, it works fine. Boots up. Oh, yeah. I was hitting the wrong button. It's not bad to have this game be able to play it on your big screen like this or any TV you, that's HDMI. You want to exit out of any of these games, start select together, close content, back out, and like I said, there is all kinds of Crash Bandicoot, Crash Nitro, Donkey Kong Countries on the DS, or on the GBA. And there, there's so many games. So many great games on this. Minish Cat, Link to the Past for Four Swords. You know, Game Boy Color, same thing. I know a lot of people are like, oh wow, these are, it, it's awesome to have this huge list. Let's go down, because I don't have Link to the Past on Game Boy. Nope. Link's Awakening, you know, it's not, it's Link's Awakening, I don't have it, so there it is. Link's Awakening, Orc of Ages, Orc of Seasons, I don't have any of those, so I can play them on this. Which I'd prefer to play them on this system anyways. I, I, I prefer to play on my TV. Marvel Madness. One of my favorite games growing up. Got Game Boy. The original. Which is big to me. Because I didn't ha I still don't have a few of the Super Mario Land. So let's go down and see. Super Mario Land, Super Mario Land 2, Super Mario Land DX. Yeah, I'm set. I can play any of those. 
Nintendo Entertainment System. There are a few games on here that are not in the system. You can't play a light gun. You can't play a power pad. But honestly, there's all kinds of great games and stuff on this. It's almost the entire library. Even a lot of Famicom games. I thought this was just a bonus. Final Fantasy 1 and 2, the prototype. You know, here's the, the cheaper one. Here's Surprise at, Di at Dinosaur Peak. That's a $200 game almost. Let's go down. I know everybody looks at it. Looks at it. Little Samson. Plays just fine. My wife actually tried this out when we were playing it, testing it before. So, I've actually never played Little Samson, so we'll, we'll give it a little dabble. So, jump in. Shoot. Never played this game before, it's actually quite fun. Yeah, it looks like I'm about ready to die. Alright, so we got the gist of that. Like I said, you back out of it. Let's go see. Super Nintendo. Um, let's see. I'm looking for more expensive Final Fight 3. I had the wrong button. You have to ignore the screen. This is the back. This is the select on it. Because it'll say something different. It took me a while to understand that it was backwards. But I've found that there's no lag. I, I haven't figured out any lag yet. The controls. I've actually never played this game before, so... Let's <laughs> go. 
Alright, so we checked out that. That works. Super Nintendo. Virtual Boy. This was hilarious because I actually haven't played a Virtual Boy in years. Um, we'll do the Space Invaders for Japan. I forgot one important thing. Whenever you're playing something, always close content before you go back. Alright. Now we'll go out to Space Invaders. It's a Japan. It was a Japan only. But it's Space Invaders. It's funny because it looks like you're actually looking almost into a virtual boy. That's a cheap way to get all the, you know, the virtual boy collection. Plus, it's not going to hurt your eyes as bad. So. Close content. Always do that. 32X. There's all kinds of good games on here. Doom. Thirty two X, let's play, let's try Doom on thirty two X. Wow, Doom does not work. Alright, so from what I've been able to tell, 32X and the Dreamcast on here do not work. And there's only three Dreamcast games, but not being able to get 32X, that's a little disappointing. Let's try Game Gear game. Game Gear, looks like it's done a boot up. I'm not going to play Alien 3, I just wanted to see if it would boot. Genesis games, um, pretty much anything on here that I've clicked on has worked. So, I know a lot of people liked Aladdin. Um, I never played Aladdin 2. I might look that one, look into that one. Let's try Animaniacs. And look there, it boots up. So. Uh... Sega CD, um, was real excited. There's some good games on here. Night Trap, if you've never played it, so you can actually play it. Shining Force CD, I know that's a big one. Now, th this is an option for those of you that don't want to spend a whole lot on your collection, or whatever. Just get the classic for 20 bucks and pay. This was $20 on eBay. Sega. I've never played this game before, so that's a bonus. I can I can dabble in this a little bit now. Um, don't know what these are. The SG one hundred looks like all Japanese games. Some sing some type PC engine. Neo Geo Pocket Collar, Neo Geo Pocket, PlayStation Portable. I've not got one of these to work yet. And the PlayStation games on this part did not work. But the bonus I saw was Sega CD, Sega Genesis. I skipped over Master System, but all these worked that I did try. 
Game Gear worked. Unfortunately, Dreamcast 32X did not work. Virtual Boy, Super Nintendo, Nintendo, Game Boy, Game Boy Color. All these right here have worked. Uh, let's try one of these real quick. Um, Double Dragon on Neo Geo. So, looks like it's going to boot up, so that's a bonus. The arcade games are working. There's very few on most of these screens that I did find was not working. So, oh, that's kind of cool. I never knew it was had the movie aspect of it. Well, this is a fighting game. Tell you what, this is actually hard to play on the PS1 controller. But I did that. That's good enough for me. I thought it was like Double Dragon. Did not know it was a fighting game. But all in all, that's what I wanted to show you guys. Um, hey, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, you know, always be more content coming out. Thanks for watching Retro Mikey 78. Sorry the video ran a little long, but I was trying to show you as much as I could for it. So, hey, thanks for watching.